Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is an interesting number puzzle. Uh, it is also called a, a chain breaking problem. So let us try to understand the logic of these kind of questions. So it says in a kingdom, people paid using gold rings from a gold chain. Okay. Now to make a certain payment, one had to cut the rings such that the required payment can be made. Right. Now when you cut uh, a ring, so you can cut uh, a piece and you will get three pieces out of it. Okay. So let us take an example that a ring has. Let's say 12 pieces. Okay, here they have given an example of 20. Let us say we take 12 piece ring. So if I cut from the fourth piece, okay, if I cut from the fourth piece, what I'll have, I'll have three pieces which will be together. This will be a separate piece, and the remaining eight pieces will be together. Now I can uh, I can pay using these pieces, right? Now the problem is. Uh, now, if someone asks me to pay one piece, I can pay one piece. If someone asks three pieces, I can pay three pieces. If someone asks me four pieces, I can pay four also. If someone asks eight pieces, that can be paid. Okay. If someone asks nine pieces, that can also be paid. And if, of course, 12 can always be paid. But I cannot pay like if someone asks me to pay six pieces. I cannot pay using these pieces. Okay. Now we'll solve questions and all questions will revolve around the number of minimum number of cuts so that you can pay all the required payments. Okay. So now let us see that thing. So let us try to say ki, uh, if I have um, like the same problem, uh, if there are 12 pieces. Okay, I was making one cut. I was not able to make all the payments. Okay, but if I make, let us say, two cuts, can I make all the uh, all the payments? So now, if I cut this piece, okay, if I cut this piece, and let's say I cut this piece, right, I will have a long piece to pay, right? So if I say, let us say, I make this cut, so I'll get one piece, one piece one piece one piece and then i will have eight pieces i can pay one two three four right i can pay nine but i cannot pay these intermediate numbers okay so i'll have to make a uh, an educated guess to make a, a cut right so if i make some intelligent guess so instead of making cuts towards the corners if i make towards the center Okay, so these are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? Suppose I cut from this piece. If I cut the sixth piece and I cut one more piece here. So what are the pieces I'll get? I'll get three pieces. One separate piece that is cut. Two pieces. Then one separate piece. Okay. And then five more pieces. Okay. Now I got like am i will be able to pay one if i have to pay two i can pay two if i have to pay three i can pay three if i have to pay four i can use three plus one four if one has to pay five so one can pay five six can also be paid five plus one six seven five plus five plus two right eight five plus two plus one nine also can be paid five three one right ten eleven twelve so all possible payments are there right using one cut we were not able to make but using two cuts, we are able to make all possible payments. Now, the question is, this was a way that uh, we uh, made a cut and made the payment. Okay. Now, let us try to understand what is the optimum way to, uh, opt we have to optimize this problem. That what could be the maximum number of uh, payments that you can make on the, depending on the number of cuts. Okay. So, remember, if you make one cut, Right, you can pay one single uh, single ring. If you make two cuts, you can make uh, two single uh, rings. If you make three cuts, you could have paid three single rings. So for n cuts, you can pay n single rings. 
right? For n cuts, you can pay n single rings. Now we we should try to make a cut. Let us see what should be the piece length. देखो n cut से n single rings pay कर सकते हो. If you have to pay more than n, so let us make this n plus one. Let us say so this should be n plus one. Okay. Now you can pay like whatever whatever be the value of n. This is n plus one. Then there are some n single rings. Okay. And then uh, what should be the next piece size? Should it be again n plus one? See, you can pay n single rings. Then you can pay n plus one. So n plus one say like you can play n plus two also because there are single rings n plus three and so on up to there are n single rings and n plus one combined, right? So you can pay up to a combination of two n plus one. Okay. Now first piece if you pay is make of n plus one rings, right? You can pay up to two n plus one. So that means the next piece should be. 2n plus 2. If this piece is of 2n plus 2, you can pay up to 2n plus 1, 2n plus 2 plus n plus 1 plus n single rings. Okay, so total 4n plus 3. So next piece should be 4n plus 4. Similarly, you get the logic that next piece will be 8n plus 8, and so on. Okay, so from this we can optimize this problem. So suppose we have n cuts, right? N n is the number of cuts. So suppose I have one cut. What should be the first piece? So first piece will be of two, one cut, and the second one could be of two plus two, four, right? So one. If I have pieces, so I can have pieces of one, two, and four. I can make a payment of seven. Okay. If I have two two cuts, if I have two cuts, I can make the first piece of three. Next piece will be of uh, double of it. That is six. Okay. Next piece I can make of twelve. And what are the payments that I can make? I can make twenty one plus two individual pieces. 23 could be the maximum that i can pay these are the pieces that you will get and these are individual pieces right one to a individual pieces okay and if we have to pay the next uh, next in the uh, in this sequence if i say n is equal to 3 if i make 3 3 3 uh, single cuts so smallest piece will be for 4 Next will be of eight, then sixteen, and then thirty-two. So max I can pay is forty-eight plus twelve, sixty plus three single pieces, total of sixty-three pieces. Okay, so you could pay seven, twenty-three, sixty-three, and so on. Okay, now let us try to mathematically find out the relation, right? So if you are paying n piece, right? So your largest piece is basically If you see this, this is uh, you are seeing that it's a uh, if it is n and if you have four, let us say for four, so four what you will get? You will get five, ten, right, twenty, forty, and eighty, and this will be one fifty nine. So basically, if you see n as the number of pieces, the largest piece is if you see this, this uh, this is two to the power four into five, isn't it? If you see one, two into two raised to the power, uh, two raised to the power two into three. Okay, so it is two into two raised to the power one, two into uh, three into two raised to the power two, four into two raised to the power three, five into two raised to the power four, and so on. So this is the largest piece. right so largest piece will be of n plus 1 into 2 raised to the power n this is the largest piece okay if you see this this is the formula for the largest piece and the maximum payment that you can make is 2l minus 
so 4 into 2 minus 1 12 into 2 minus 1 32 into 2 minus 1 18 into 2 minus 1 okay so we have generalized the formula we figured out how do we find out because for n individual pieces we can make n payments okay n single rings tak pay kar sakte so we will make the smallest piece n plus 1 okay then n plus 1 n plus 1 and then we can pay n plus 1 plus n more that is 2n plus 1 so we'll make the next piece 2n plus 1 now we can play n plus 1 2n plus 1 and n individual rings 4n plus 3 can be played so we'll make the next piece 4n plus 4 and so on okay so the thing is this is the largest piece if you have to make the n cuts this is the largest piece and maximum is 2l minus 1 so here's a table that gives the uh, the standard result for up to 10 right probably you could uh, remember these values up to 7 or 8 that should be more than enough to answer the questions right so i hope you have understood this concept now now let's solve the questions okay this is the table you can refer to it now it is saying what is the number of cuts one needs to make in a chain of 256 rings to ensure he could pay any denomination up to 256 okay so you have to find the minimum number of cuts so if you see this uh, up to four cuts one can pay only 159 right so one needs to have five cuts if one has a chain with certain pieces and makes exactly four cuts to make the all possible payments what would be the size of the largest piece so four cuts means the largest piece should be uh, 80 okay and then we have if a person makes six cuts in the chain at most how many rings can he pay so if there are six cuts the maximum number of payments are 895 now the next question from a chain atm rupesh obtained three chains of 2500 and 100 rings what is the minimum number of cuts he needs to make in each in these rings combined so that he could make any of the desired payments from each of these rings okay now if uh, he has to pay each of these things so in the hundred ring uh, ring with uh, uh, the chain with hundred rings he will have to make four cuts because for three cuts only up to 63 can be paid so four cuts here for 500 one will have to make six cuts because up to five you can pay only 383 so six cuts here and for 2000 uh, you need to make seven cuts okay so total of 17 cuts so this is uh, the problem and the solution to this i hope uh, you enjoyed this and you must have understood this concept well okay so if you enjoyed it please do like the session and uh, if you have any queries you can ask in the comments below